Farmers World Alert. Uh, we've got this website, hunterinafarmersworld.com, where I talk about ADHD, uh, something I've been writing about for, geez, 30 years. And this one is titled Classroom Strat Strategies for Dealing with ADHD. For a number of years, I was soliciting stories, success stories from parents and teachers and people who attended the speeches I gave and things like that. Um, you know, how do you deal with ADHD? And I compiled them into a book called ADD Success Stories. And um, I, I've been using some of those stories, to, you know, to share these, these cool, really cool ideas with, uh, in particular, parents and teachers. Um, this, this one, you know, one of the big problems that kids with ADHD have is that they can fake it for a while, you know, in school. Mo you know, for bright kids with ADHD, it's a, you know, they, they, just their raw intelligence can kind of push through until they hit a particular grade level. For me, it was, it was probably high school. Um, uh, for my son, it was junior high school. You know, it varies for everybody, but um, you hit a grade level and, and then it's like, it really, you've got to start studying. You've got to buckle down. And for a lot of ADHD kids, they just don't know how to do that because they were always able to fake it. So uh, Jane, the mother of an ADHD teenager in Philadelphia, she said, uh, Jared said that doing homework was actually physically painful to him uh, she's trying to get her son to do about an hour's worth of homework every night. He said, after about 15 minutes, he started to get bored, and then it was really difficult for him to sit any longer without somebody forcing him to do it. So I asked him if he found the first 15 minutes difficult, and to my surprise, he said, no, the first 15 minutes was easy. So we split his homework into 15-minute segments. He does one when he gets home from school, one before dinner, one after dinner, and one before bed. And now he gets his homework done. I mean, it's like simple, simple stuff. A teacher in Atlanta talking about putting the ADHD kids in the front row of the class so that they're not distracted by the kids around them and so she can keep an eye on them. Another one, Bill, is a college student in Ohio, and he talks about how when he went to university, that's when he crashed and burned, and it was in these big classrooms, the, the required courses where you got 200 people in the room, and he just couldn't concentrate. And so what he did was he discovered that he could take the required classes in the summer or at a community college in a much smaller environment where he could pay attention. And then going forward, he would always look for small classes with engaging teachers. Uh, a friend of his went, took it even a step farther. He actually transferred to a smaller college, although Bill said that he couldn't do that because he had a scholarship and it was his father's alma, alma mater. So interesting stuff. You can find it all over at hunterinafarmersworld.com.